Did Indy's Super Bowl chances improve by acquiring both Gore and Johnson? Stephen A., for you. Well, I definitely think it did. Uh, first of all, Andre Johnson, who I know, I'm very, very happy for him because I think that he's been mired in Houston for quite some time. He never wanted to agree with me, never wanted to face it, never said a negative word about Matt Shaw. But I've been telling him for years, Houston's not going anywhere as long as Matt Schaub is their quarterback. So thank the good Lord he's finally got from under that situation, although he hasn't had Matt Schaub for the last couple of years and he's had to deal with a relatively unstable situation down there in Texas. I like Bill O'Brien, but I think it was time for Andre Johnson to get out of there. And I think that he's an upgrade from Reggie Wayne, who basically gave 14 years of, uh, of his career, you know, to, to Indy in the NFL. And I think Andre Johnson's an upgrade. In the case of Frank Gore, I'm not so sure. I'm not sure how much better Frank Gore is than the combination. Oh, I don't even want to say Trent Richardson because he's not on that level. But Amar Bradshaw is tough as nails. And uh, he's not the most elusive guy in the world. Neither is Frank Gore. But they did rank 22 in rushing last year, and that's something they need to improve and improve uh, quick, fast, and in a hurry. So anything that you do to elevate your running game, Frank Gore has tried and proven, and we understand that. I just don't know if age and attrition is going to get the better of him, but I applaud the Indianapolis Colts for taking that chance. Let's see what they're doing to upgrade themselves defensively. They weren't stout against the pass. They weren't a stout defensive team. They were decent, uh, but they need to be better. Uh, but Andrew Luck needs help, and primarily it needs to be with that offensive line because he's been hit more than anybody, and he needs to upgrade in a running game. I don't know if that's the answer with Frank Gore. Let's see what they do with their offensive line. Let's see what they continue to do <clears throat> Excuse me, moving forward. I definitely think they're better, but I don't know if they're good enough to win a Super Bowl title. Hmm. I I'm actually very surprised <clears throat> by your reaction. I anticipated, because you love Andrew Luck so much, that you would say these are just the kind of moves that would put Indy over the top next year, the kind of win now moves. But you're you're kind of blasé about it. Like you, you you're not convincing me I'm that blase they're much, about it. if I'm, any I'm, better. Well, let me say this to you: <clears throat> if they had an elusive running back like a Lashawn McCoy, then I would feel far more excited about it. I think that Frank Gore is a power back. I don't find him to be the most elusive dude in the world, and I don't think the offensive line is elite. So to me, I see maybe a slight better production, level of production than Ahmad Bradshaw and Trent Richardson gave you, but not enough of a significant upgrade to really take some of the pressure off of Andrew Luck. Andre Johnson helps Andrew Luck, and I think that, that, that makes them better. And I think the combination of Gore with Andre Johnson makes them better. But I just, I'm looking at Gore, and he's a power back to me. And somebody that, that's relatively productive, yeah. but you got to put a stout offensive line in front of him because he's a north and south kind of guy. And I really have some questions as to whether or not he's the answer for that particular team. Okay. I, I probably like <clears throat> these moves more than you do. But bottom line, and this is all that really matters in this conversation, do I think that even with the moves the, the, these veterans that they have acquired, that Indy is better than a New England right now without Revis and Vereen. They haven't yet made their moves to, to shore up whatever they're going to shore up. No, they're not better than New England. So if, if you make me dial back to last year's playoff game, again, at New England for the second straight year, Tom Brady and company won the second half 28 to nothing. With these players, maybe Brady and company win the second half 28 to 10 or 28 to 14. I, I do think it will improve to surround Andrew Luck with veteran, been there, done that kind of talent. But all these guys are in the Floyd Mayweather mold to me. They're all a little past their primes. So it, I think they can help in leadership, in, in veteran know-how more than they can in actual productivity because remember, as much as I like Andre Johnson, he's going to play next year at age 34 in his 13th year, and Houston didn't trade him. Houston, I'm sure they tried to, but they, they just cut him. him. Yeah. You know, so he was just on the market. And I do like Frank Gore more than you do because he is he's a tough son of a gun, man. And, and I think he's still got some left, but if you look at his productivity, it's starting to decline. Obviously, he's a running back. And he's going to play next year at 32 in his 11th year. I, I like Trent Cole 
the Eagles released him. He's going to turn 33 during the year next year. Will he help their defense a little, maybe a little bit? I really like Todd Harriman's. He's going to play next year. I think he's going to turn 33 during the year. Another ex-Eagle offensive lineman. He'll help some. So I like the, the psychological direction that management is going of. Let's go out and surround Andrew with guys who know how to do it. I, I'm impressed. I think they are a little more dangerous. Now we're back to Andrew Luck. Can he take the next big step in the postseason?